folks. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manage transfer scheme O per O. At the first, in this first extract feature, I will create a shape based on the line and you can see here on the right top corner is defined some angle. On that angle, I will create the chamfer and the first we will finish the first extra feature. Yeah. On the created extra feature, I will select the chamfer feature and apply on the edge. We will specify the value 10 per 10 and you can see the default chamfer scheme is D per D dimension per dimensions. What does it mean? I'd like to show you on the created sketch so I will go back a little bit in the model tree and create a new sketch feature and in this sketch feature I'd like to create the line perpendicular to the existing edge. The first feature will be line perpendicular to the selected edge and second line will be perpendicular to another edge. The point is the in the intersection of the edges and this point will be really useful for creating the dimensions. This dimension I will create 10 per 10, same like the chamfer scheme. So you will see that if I will finish the sketch will be same as the chamfer. Created lines will be later describe how the chamfer scheme O per O works. Yeah, so if I will finish the sketch and move the insert here in model 3, you can see the chamfer, created chamfer is the same. And you will go back to the sketch and in the sketch I'd like to show you and create a reference dimension for the length of the line. Yes, yeah, so you can see here that right now the length is the same. And if we will finish and change the existing chamfer scheme D to D to O per O, the system will automatically calculate length of these edges. Yeah, it's the same. So if you change it, the system automatically calculate. But if you would like to change the different values, for example, I'd like to change the default dimension 15 to 10, so it will be D1 per D2, the length of the lines are different, are different and I'd like to apply O1 per O2, and I will specify the value from the sketch. If I will spin the orientation, the position of the chamfer is the same. But what will be happen if you will change the angle of existing edges? So I will change the angle, for example, this one. And then if you go to the sketch, you can see the new value for chamfer scheme O per O, O01 to O2. And you have to apply the new value. So you need to know the correct value if you would like to specify the chamfer scheme O per and O2 and it's always perpendicular length from the selected point or intersected point. I hope that you like it. See you later.